Okay. That would be cool. All right. I'll start off by, uh, can you give me your, your full name and spell it for me? My name is Jody Pummel. It's J-O-D-Y-P-U-M-M-E-L-L. And uh, where are we right now? We're at, well, now it's called Hometown Hardware. It used to be called Johnson's Hardware. Okay. Are you the owner? No. I've okay. been manager for many years. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Well, we're here, obviously, to talk about the Skelton Boys. Um, what is the consensus around town at this point, six and a half years later? Is it still being talked about? <laughs> oh, pretty- yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You, I'm always hearing people talk about them. And it, it's easy for me to talk about them because before they came up missing from the home that they were at, they had lived across the street from me for several years in a house that I had previously lived in. And so, and I see, it's, you know, they were in here a lot with their dad, which, and they were always good boys. I never had to worry about them getting into anything. They were just very obedient boys, but they seemed to get along well with John. So it was a total surprise. What did you know if you grew up in such, or if you were in such proximity to him? What, what did you know about John himself? Not a whole lot. I knew he was a truck driver at the time, but and I would see him and Tanya outside with the boys all the time. I don't know if those boys ever watched TV because they were outside all the time, riding bikes or racing around the yard, just having a good time. And so when you saw them as a family, nothing struck you as odd? No, not a thing. They were together a lot. Yeah, it, This community is a small community. Is it one of those communities where everyone kind of knows each other? Used to be. Here the last several years, there's a lot of newer people in town. It's become more of a bedroom community. There's people that work in Toledo. and I know there's a couple that work up around Detroit. Um, just a lot of new people. Yeah. Well, for you guys as a town, what, what's it been like? Um, I mean, I know the media interest has died down in recent years. But uh, people like me coming up to you, I mean, is that kind of a, has it been a, not a daily occurrence, but a regular thing for the last few years? Oh, I wouldn't say regular, but just once a year. But I was previously interviewed for another media outlet, and uh, that was probably six months ago. But that was the first time in probably two or three years so as far as theories go in this town I'm sure that there are everyone has their own opinion of oh yeah um, I think that's out there Let's go the, the most common probably that they aren't with us anymore um, but then I look at it this way maybe they're not but here lately we've heard a lot about kids that have been missing for several years all of a sudden they've been found so i mean there's hope in that i pray for tanya that that's the case i know tanya and uh, it's just it's killing her but she's basically doing well but to stop and think about it i know it's got to be killing her so what is your theory i mean do you have your own theory on what happened No, not really. I just, I really don't know what to say. If he took him someplace, I think he took him to someone that took him someplace where there's, they can't communicate with anybody else. And if they're not alive, I have no clue as to where they could be. I know it seems like every inch of ground in the surrounding area has been searched. So I really don't think they're around here. Uh, I've heard and read some people say that he may have dropped him off to the Amish. Now, is that something that you've heard around here? Yeah, I've heard that several times. Um, it's a possibility because, like, they they shun the, you know, modern conveniences, you know, no TV, no electricity and stuff like that. So they obviously aren't on the Internet. So, I mean, it's a possibility, but I really, I don't think so, but that's not to say it's not possible. 
when when it initially happened what what kind of tone was it in this town well, i mean well, I, I can't even imagine oh heartbreak everybody was just devastated um to this day i mean it just i'm getting chills and tears are starting to but it was i mean i can go to different places and they hear if they hear where i'm from is that where the boys were from so i mean they're still they aren't forgotten i just i don't know what else to say you say you you, you see tanya still you talk to mm -hmm. her um, occasionally not a lot but occasionally so from that time until now now i've read that she said that she thinks the boys are gone after she mm -hmm. talked to john yeah I, at this point now, do you have any idea what her idea of where the boys are is? Is it the same? No, I don't think I've talked to her since then, so I really don't know. And how do you handle this situation when you do talk to her? Is it just, it's there, but you don't talk about it? The last time I really saw her to talk about anything, she we kind of met at a doctor's office. She was there with her father who had fallen, and so we didn't really get a chance to talk about it. So I really, I know she's preparing to get married again. Um, very nice guy. So I hope that all goes well for her, makes, you know, gives her a little happiness. I mean, she's got her daughters and her granddaughters.